Check it out. Now listen, after looking at this thumbnail, seeing these two dips, today I'm getting ready to show you guys how easy it is to make. And when I say easy, I mean easy. Listen, we are doing two, right? We are doing a beef enchilada dip. And then if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you how to make a caramelized onion bacon dip. Hit it with the chips and let's go. Okay, so look, obviously I'm using this cast iron skillet, right? So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with that. I already got it preheated. So let's just go ahead and add this here. It should sizzle. Then listen, I like to use my square edge, right? You can break it up here like this. Or you see what I got right here? You can go ahead and get you one of these, you know, uh, neoprene, you know, masters. These are great for nonstick. Obviously, it's gonna be good for the, you know, for cast iron, but we just break it up like this. Make sure every, you know, we got a lot of contact, right? Then we just gonna brown just a little bit more and then we are gonna go ahead and then we are gonna add our onions. We starting to brown. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my onion. You know what I mean? Then we just gonna work this in together and cook them down. Now look, the longer I let it cook, the softer the onions get. Of course, we want the flavors to marinate, you know, to marry with the, uh, with the beef, right? But I still want to keep some little bit of the integrity. That's why I didn't just put it in in the very beginning. You know what I mean? It's okay that, you know, when you dip, you know, you get a little onion. It's, it doesn't always have to be soft, right? So we'll just keep it like that, just like you see. Okay, so look, I'm gonna be using my Level Up series. Look, I'm gonna be using the B. You know what I mean? This is like good on beef, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just season this like this, all right? If you guys don't have this, but I'll put all of the information, how to get it down in the description box below. You can just add salt and pepper, that works too. Now we are gonna go ahead and just, you know, load up the press, squeeze it. Look at that right there. Y'all should be smiling like me. It's just nothing more gratifying than just pressing, you know, guarded cloves into minced, right? So we got it there. Now we move this around. As soon as it gets some of that heat on it, it becomes aromatic. You know what I mean? You can just smell the fragrance off of it. And that's it right there. Ah, oh, yeah. This is fire. Remember folks, we want to taste as we go. Right now the meat is, you know, good and cooked. You know what I mean? We just put a couple of cloves in there of garlic. We seasoned it. Now we taste it and see if it needs anything right here. If it doesn't, to your taste buds, then we move on to the next step. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and just add your sauce. All right? You want to get yourself a spatula so you can get in there. All right? One. We just need a total of 16 ounces. Okay, so you guys can see, look. I brought it up to like a medium high. I just adjusted it down straight to like a medium flame now, right? Right, like to always run it across the bottom, make sure nothing is sticking on the bottom. We good to go. Sauce is nice and hot. Now we start adding some of our cheese. Now look, I grade my own cheese, right? That's what you wanna do. You know, you don't have that waxy film when you buy that pre-shredded cheese, you know? And then I want you guys to look. I shred it on the side of my shredder where it's super thin. You see that? That's what we want to have. Now you just want to incorporate your cheese, keep it moving like I'm doing here. You know what I mean? So that it melts. This is what thickens it up and gives it that cheesy, you know, feel so everybody can just hit it with, you know, whatever type of chips that you bought. And this right here, whew. Smells good. Super simple. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of times you don't have to like overcomplicate things. When you put the right ingredients together and they marry together, it makes something outstanding. But you guys can see how it's coming together right now. All right? I just put in a little bit at a time. Okay, once all your cheese is melted, right? You can see how it is. Look, I got it on low now. Don't forget, cast iron carries that heat. You know what I mean? But it is on low. 
what I'll do now is, I'm just gonna take some of my leftover cheese like this and just put some, like a layer, just on the top. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn it off and just come over the top just to put a layer of cheese on here. You know what I mean? Just a thin layer, all right? And we'll just let that, you know, just melt on the top, just like that. And we'll get it ready. You know, put some olives on it. You know what I mean? If you don't like olives, you don't have to put it on there. Maybe just sprinkle a little bit of green, whatever green you have, whether it's green onion, you know what I mean, uh, or whatever. Green onion. You can actually put parsley over the top. Just something to make it look good. And you get ready. Once it cools, you give it to your guests. Okay, as you guys can see, look, this is how it is when you put it out. All you gotta do is put your chips out. They can just go ahead and hit that. I like using these smaller cast irons because the presentation is great, right? So look, I went ahead and put myself some heat under my, my pan here. Look, we finna go ahead and start getting our bacon together. Now this is the bonus, you know, uh, recipe that I'm gonna give you guys. Super easy to make, you know what I mean? Uh, only thing that's really time consuming is just the fact that we gotta go ahead and do this, you know, make our bacon. So I'm gonna use this grease to caramelize these onions. Okay, so I'm starting to see it, you know, puff a little smoke. So we go ahead and put that in there like that. Now we just work this back and forth. Let that bacon grease get all on the top of all of it. Then I wanna make sure it's flat. And then we're gonna take these down a little bit. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look at these right here. You know what I mean? These are brought down, you know, nicely. I can take them down and make them darker if I like, but this is about the way I like for them to be. Now, they drench, you know what I mean? We've been cooking them, you know, almost like frying them really, you know, in bacon fat, right? So what I did was got myself a paper pla plate, lined it with, you know, with uh, a napkin. Let me check this out. Look, I'm just gonna take it and get as much of this out as I can without getting all of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna take my bacon. Everything is cool, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down. Now listen, you guys can cut this down on your own before, you know, when they small. I mean, when it's, you know, before you cook it, that's what I'm trying to say. You can do it that way, but for me, I like to do it this way. You know what I mean? Uh, something about me just holding a knife, you know what I mean? And it's crispy. I just like to go ahead and, you know, cut it down like this. Okay, so look, really outside of just putting the, uh, you know, getting your, your bacon together, this is really like a dump and go. Super easy, right? So I'm gonna take my sour cream, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little, you know, stir, you know, because if you have sour cream, you know how it gets a little liquid on the top or whatever, but that's good like that, because listen, we gotta mix it all up, right? So we wanna put in about two cups. So we'll just call that a half, you know what I mean? One cup, I think I'm gonna make this one about like that, right? Real simple. So, we got that in there. Really, when I tell you dump and go, now we're gonna go ahead and just add just a little bit of the bacon, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my caramelized onions, you know what I mean? Again, take a look at that, look at that flavor. We're just gonna dump all of that inside. Key is you want that to, you don't want it to like just be hot, right? So you want it to like cool, you know what I mean, which I did, put it on a, look, all of the fat, the rest of the grease that was in there, kind of like just soaks up, you know, into your rag, I mean, to your, you know, your napkin. Look, I'm gonna take some chives now, put some in here just so we can have some in the inside, a little bit of the green onion top, right? And don't forget, we shredded some cheese. Now, I shredded this kind of thin, right? So we wanna add a little bit of this in here like this. Just like that for right now, right? Then what we want to do is we just want to fold. So now we'll come with the rest. Okay, so look, then what I did was when you look at it, look, that's the consistency you want. You know what I mean? You can see a little bit of everything, the bacon, you know what I mean? Uh, you can see the cheese, chives, of course there's the sour cream, all of that. Then when you taste it, you decide if you need to add anything. I'm gonna just give it, 
you know, just two little small pinches of salt. And then if you've been following me for a minute, you know I do everything with the pepper, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just cook it like this. Now that it's done, you know what I mean? I did go ahead and stick it into the refrigerator and let it, you know, like chill a little bit. Uh, you know what I can tell you too? Listen, taste the profile, see if you like it. You can always add like a half a pack of like a ranch packet, you know, to give it a certain type of flavor if that's what you're looking for. Or if you got your favorite seasoning, you can do that. You know me, I use Creole seasoning for everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just display it, you know, like this. Remember, after you chill it, you can see it kind of like, I don't know, like if you ever bought any type of potato chip dip, you know what I mean? It always says, you know, refrigerate it. Look at this right here, look at the consistency. And this is what you want to have right here. Okay, so look, <clears throat> now you can see how it looks. You know what I mean? If you guys got yourself some like 10 inch, you know, cast iron skillets, you know what I mean? Or whatever you would like to like put them out. You can use a casserole dish or whatever. But I would just say double that. You can put one of these out at each different station so that all your guests don't have to like, you know, crowd around one or wait in line. You know what I mean? So just double it, put out this so you'll have four different dishes, two of the same. You know what I mean? Uh, super simple. You know what I mean? Uh, all I can tell you is make sure you go ahead and hit that with a, uh, put that in the refrigerator at least for an hour. You know, let it set. And if you want to like raise up the flavor, I would just say add like a half a pack of a ranch pack, packet to it just to give it that hint. I'm finna go all in on these right here. And I just don't have no more scoops just to go in here. You know, the enchilada uh, sauce, I mean the enchilada dip is real nice. This is best served when it's hot, right? It didn't have a little time to cool because you know I started making this right here. But you guys get the chance to look at the, uh, the presentation. Just know the flavors are there. If you like enchilada, of course you're gonna like that. Now, listen, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What would you do to like raise this up and make this happen, right? So if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make my prediction. I know this is a video. I know anybody gonna see this after that, but I'm gonna say this, hashtag go Eagles. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.